I'm going to show you how to fix the lines that go down the screen and the, the blurriness in the screen when uh, you got a Precision M90, a Precision M4300, or a Precision M6300, any of the large Precisions made by Dell. If they have video errors, it's usually a video card problem, which is right here. First step to taking it apart is uh, take off the bezel, then take the keyboard out, and take apart every screw that's in the top lid. Then turn it over, take out part every screw there, take out the CD drive, battery, the covers, take the screen off, take the top off once you have all the screws out, and then take off this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw, and loosen them up. Don't take them completely out. There's little clips that hold them. And pull this video card out. And we want to get inside here. We want to remove this heat sink off of the video card. I need a better screwdriver. You can use the Phillips head to take apart every part of this laptop except for these four screws that hold the heat sink onto the video card. In order to take those apart, it's a, a star bit. I don't know why they did that, but they did. You get the heat sink off, take this to the reflow machine, clean this chip off with something, a rag, or your finger. Once you get it good and clean, heat it up, reflow it, put it back together, it should work. This little plate comes off the bottom. Have it like that before you heat it up. Hit stop. Once you get the goop cleaned off of that, you take the sticker off of it, you heat it up, turn on your reflow machine. I started out at 100 degrees, and then I just bumped the temperature up gradually to 360 degrees. I'll take a second, heating it up. You don't want to just full blast it. A board this small, you really don't have to preheat it on a preheater. You could preheat it with the, the reflow gun by, by just setting it there and keeping it on 100 degrees. It's too small to throw on a preheater. I mean, it'd be pointless. You heat it up to 360 degrees. Every once in a while, just move it just a little bit. Get that chip good and warm. Go around the edges for a second. You're going to reseat all them solder joints. You need to get them all good and high. You can tell it's working when it starts to burn your hand if you're close enough to it. There's no set amount of time. I know if you cook it too long, it ain't good for it and it won't work. I think that's been long enough. I'm going to go ahead and start moving the temperature down. Take it down about 300 for a minute. And take it down again, about 250.
I know there's guys out there that thinks there's an exact science to reflowing. I've yet to find one. I know that about 95% of everything I reflow ends up working. And if it doesn't, it usually means it's been cooked by somebody else before it's gotten to me. Take the temperature all the way down to 100. Cut off the reflow. I'm going to take this. Put it back in the machine once it pulls down. It should work. Alright. I'm going to put some Arctic Silver thermal compound on this chip right here. You don't need a whole bunch. You want to smear it in with your finger. Just need to make contact to take some of the heat off this chip while the machine's running. Put this back together. it's back together put the laptop back together should fix your video problem you get a hundred more miles out of it I'll show you once we got it all the way together and it's running okay, I got her all back together turn her on see if she comes up see if them squiggly lines are gone they look like they're gone to me Try and go into BIOS, see how the picture looks. This is a repair, it's definitely worth doing, even if you have to have, have to pay to have it done. Now you hit F2. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a nice machine. Dell Precision's probably the best machine you can have. In my eyes. Uh, it's, it's what I use personally. Uh, this is an M90. A lot of these machines have that problem with the video card after a long time. New thermal compound on both the processor and the video card after you do that. Make this machine last, like I said, another 100 miles.